What's up, everybody? I was watching this old documentary on the Tunguska event, and they mentioned this Sikote Aline meteorite from 1947. And check this thing out. This came down over here. It's in the far east of Russia, or Tataria, and part of it came down in a mountain range right on the coast. I'll leave a link to this old documentary down below. It's pretty cool if you want to watch it. Now, you can see the people here that look very Asian. Once again, on the map, they're further east than China. Now, I've watched old documentaries, and this is what everybody looked like all the way over through what is modern-day Russia. And I got news for you. This is who the actual Tatarians were. The people that lived there at the time where the maps say Tataria looked like this. That's why their flag shows that they definitely had ties with their neighbors. Now, we hopefully all know about this, right? Well, who do you think all those people were? They were the actual Tatarians. Now, you look at the people that live there today, and they look just like any other European nation, right? I'm just wondering how many people before 1920 looked like this and not like this. And you know what? The exact same thing is happening in America right now. Anyway... So this Sukkot Aline meteorite was seen and the earthquake felt for hundreds of miles around and they sent teams out to investigate. As soon as they got to the area, they started finding hundreds of these pock marks everywhere, ranging in size and some being, you know, big as a baseball diamond. They took along magnometers, which could pinpoint exactly where it was and started digging down. And some of these fragments went 26 feet deep. The two largest fragments they recovered were 350 and 700 some odd kilograms. Altogether, they recovered 23 tons of meteoric material. They estimate that the size of it was 100 million tons. Now, this all airburst ranging from 700 kilograms down to basically nothing and just hammered 1.4 kilometers worth of area. <laughs> I know people are going to say that uh, this is all staged. They just made it up. That's just the Internet. See that guy in the back? He's not even lifting on anything. This is AI. <laughs> but hey, rocks have fallen from the sky for a very long time. Our oldest mythologies tell us about it. I've theorized for quite a while that if it's got a high iron content, then it's just going to shoot into the ground like a bullet. And, you know, this wasn't on the large scale of things, a very big one, but it managed to shoot. 26 feet down in the ground and leave some decent sized pock marks. But the majority of these are going to hit the water. It's got a, at minimum a 75% chance of hitting water. And that's why we've got whole hillsides just of mud, muck, and bones up in Alaska. And what you're seeing here are called micro spirals. These are tiny balls of molten metal and rock. And these are found for thousands of square miles around after ancient impact events. We don't know necessarily exactly where one stabbed into the ground, but they find these micro spirals over large areas. Carolina Bays is one example. You've got hundreds of these now lakes that are impact craters that have filled in with water, but they've studied the micro spherals for all around and determined that it was an airburst that shot into a couple different directions. In the Carolinas, they turned it into lakes, but it looks like in Nebraska, this was probably a more moist climate because it looks like it's dried out and turned into sedimentary stone now. Anyway, it's a pretty cool documentary if you guys want to check it out. Back when men were men, scientists were men instead of people in ivory towers. And people can tell me that rocks can't fall from the sky because of the shape of the earth all they want. And I'm just not. I, why would I think that? And what does a rock falling from the sky have anything to do with the shape of the earth anyway? Because of the firmament? The firmament is way out where the stars are. <laughs> the moon and sun are obviously closer than that. So anyway, I'll just put it out there. Anybody that I, I don't care if you think the earth is a pancake, you, but you should probably adjust your thinking and accept that rocks fall from the sky. Static out.